All right, question number 31, let's get right into it. So we have the vector i represents one mile per hour east, and the vector j represents one mile per hour north. Maria is jogging south at 12 miles per hour. One of the following vectors represents Maria's velocity in miles per hour. Which one? Okay, guys, so um, sometimes they throw in some concepts that are kind of related to physics. So if you recall, velocity is essentially defined as a magnitude with a direction. Uh, sorry, with. Um, so basically what that means here is if we look at these vectors, right? So if we, if we have a graph here, sorry, that was supposed to be the origin. Uh, anyway, vector i would be one mile per hour east. So it could just be something like this, right? So one mile per hour east. And then vector j represents one mile per hour north. So it could be like right here. So it'd be one mile per hour north. Now, the thing here is that um, Maria is traveling 12 miles per hour uh, south. So what that means is that basically, if this right here, if this is our vector, and this is vector j, which is north, we have to flip that vector to this way, and then it has to be like 12, 12 miles per hour. So what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to take j, so the j vector, and we're going to need to multiply it by 12 so that it's 12 miles per hour. And then we are going to need to multiply it by negative 1 so that it flips in the opposite direction. So that might have been a little bit confusing, but hopefully you, uh, you see how logically that works out. Um, so the correct answer is going to be b. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.